Hi, I'm Dave from boynabands.com and welcome to day three of the Boyna Band's seven day song tutorial on dubstep. Yesterday, we improved on the dubstep beat from day one with some snazzy samples. Today is the all important addition of the wobble bass. Okay, let's begin. Now this bass will consist of two instances of Thor, one for the prominent sharp mid to high end of the sound and another for the really bassy sub bass underneath. So let's start with the top end, but we need a combinator first, so right click, combinator. And let's name this Wobble Bass. Now to mix the two instances of Thor together, we're going to want to create a line mixer 6 to 2 in our combinator. And then right click, create Thor. And let's get to work on our first instance of Thor. So initialize Thor, right click, initialize patch, click show programmer, and that opens up the low end of this synth here. And we want to make two analog oscillators, one's already in there and a multi oscillator. Change one analog oscillator to a pulse wave and send these two through to the filter by hitting two and three. Now detune the multi oscillator a little bit to make the sound a bit thicker and with these two crisp analog waves and one kind of detuned multi oscillator it'll mean there's a thickness to the sound but it'll still be punchy and sharp. Now would be a good point to probably put some notes in the track lane so we can hear our synth. So I'll, I'll just do that now. If we have a look down here to add notes, pencil tool, the W is the shortcut key. But yeah, draw an, draw an area and double click it. And I'll get to work put, putting in some notes here. Okay, so I've written my riff out, so let's have a listen to it. Remember, dubstep tends to be minor and even dissonant, which means using notes that clash, for example when they're half a step away from each other, to create a dark, sometimes painful sound. But here, I've just used some notes from the key of G sharp to make a cool riff. Now notice here, dun, 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 how those two notes sound really cool D and C sharp. It's because they're a semitone apart, so it just sounds really chromatic and cool. Okay, enough music theory for now, let's go back to the instance of Thor and let's get this wobbling. Now we've got our notes in there. For the flow pass filter, turn the frequency down to about half. Yeah. And turn the resonance up a bit to about maybe a quarter. Now the uh, the resonance just adds a bit of bite to the sound in the higher frequencies, but it can take away from the bassiness. So this is where having a separate Thor instance for the low end really helps. Okay, and this, this point on the frequency here is where the, the wobble will modulate from. Okay, before I forget as well, turn up the sustain in the amp envelope to full so it doesn't lose any volume over time as the notes are held down. Okay, now for the actual wobble. Hit the key sync and tempo sync on LFO1 so it starts the wobble each time you make play a new note and it's in time with the song. And turn the rate to 316. So 16th triplets. Now this will give it that really kind of offbeat, wobbly sound that I've been talking about the, the whole way through this tutorial series. Now, to actually link the LFO to our frequency, which is what's going to provide the wobble, we're going to use the uh, modulation bus routing, it's called, this section down here. It's not as complicated as it looks. Click the drop down for source, hit LFO1, turn the amount up to 100, and set the destination for filter 1 frequency. And there we have our wobble. Easy as that. It's so beautiful. Now we have the high end, we need to make sure the floors will be shaking too. If you have rubbish speakers then you probably aren't going to hear this, so you'll just have to trust me that it's doing something. Make a new instance of Thor, right click, create, Thor Polysonic Synthesizer, and yep, it's coming through, right click, initialize the patch, now open up the programmer, and we're going to have, again, three different oscillators. We're going to have one sine wave here, another analog sine wave, but another octave up. So we've got a two octave spread there. And we want a multi oscillator on the soft saw wave, which is the third one down, slightly detuned. Now let's send those through by clicking the two and three buttons there. And now, 
if we turn our frequency down to about a quarter, leave the res where it is, so there's no kind of light on the high end, it's all low end in this one. That's the lower end of our wobble sorted stuff so underneath the high end. You might just be able to hear that. But that will sound really bassy on some good speakers. So bang that in the club and you will feel it. Okay, and now that's our first wobble bass done. But I think we need a bit of variety for our verse in our song. So I'll just mute this one and let's make a new wobble bass. Okay, so let's make the second wobble bass. Right click, create a combinator. Let's name this one Wobble 2. Make an instance of Thor, create Thor Polysonic Synthesizer, initialize it, right click initialize, and show the programmer. We want three oscillators again, two analog oscillators, one as a sine wave, and a wavetable oscillator, which uses inbuilt wavetables to generate the sound, so it's kind of like a sampler, but not quite. Let's go down to this 10 signs preset. Now I'll just copy the notes across from the previous one so we can get an idea of what this sounds like. Probably use something similar to this in the final song, but we'll change it a bit later on in the tutorials. Now, if you listen to it without the uh, wavetable oscillator, or it's kind of a, a bog standard synth, but add it in and it's got this really nice harmonic overtone, which is very cool. The wavetable oscillator is great for that because it has some cool presets in it. Now, Take the frequency down to about just about a half, leave the resonance where it is, and get it wobbling again. Key sync, tempo sync, and I'm going to choose the 1 8 rate as opposed to the 3 16 we used in the last one. And alternating between those two rates will mean it gives a really cool disjointed effect to the song. And there's our wobble. Let's hit that sustain again. Turn the sustain up on the amp envelope so it doesn't lose any volume. And that's almost there, but I think it can be a bit more fun. To do that, I'm going to add some portamento, which means the, note, the synth notes will slide between each other instead of hitting them cleanly, adding a kind of slothful, fun sound if it's on a slow enough slide. Now, just turn the slider there from off to on, and the portamento, turn it to about just, about, just above a quarter, yeah. And you can hear there, it just slides between the notes now, which is really cool, especially when it hits this high note near the end, I'll just skip to that. That's cool. Awesome. So, now we've got our wobble bass effects, our track is starting to take shape. Tune in for day four when I'll be adding a fun lead synth and some more bass notes to make the track more varied, memorable and interesting. Until then, see what other tones you can get from using different oscillators in Thor and make them wobble like Amy Winehouse. If you found this tutorial useful, help me out by rating this video or posting a comment so other people can find it. And don't forget to check out my website, boyinaband.com. Have a nice day!